Sup bro chachos. Now in today's video, as you see, I have these three homeless people behind me who are gonna be helping me do Javon's brakes on his Mazda Miata. Clearly, they're super excited to be working on vehicles today. On that note, if you have not yet subscribed to the Bertini fam, go ahead, click that subscribe button and the notification bell. This way you can stay up to date on all of our Build Series content because we have so much of it. Lots, lots of Build Series content. On that note, go ahead and roll the intro. Everything you see performed in this video is performed by trained dummies. So whatever you do to your vehicles that you see from us doing in this video, you do at your own risk. We are trained stupid. I was, I was, I was born. I got dropped on my head as a baby. Idiots, just thank it. Now, before we go ahead and pull Javon's Miata, broken down Miata into this wonderful garage here, I need to go ahead and finish doing the oil change on this thing. All I have to do is put some oil in here really quick, dumped out that old, dirty, nasty black stuff. And we need to pull Javon's Miata in here so we can get these brakes done on there because he can't stop going after women. <laughs> so true. And so in order to do that, we're gonna pull him in here, get that done, and uh, you have the brakes, right? You already bought the brake pads. Please tell me you brought the brake pads. Hopefully I brought them. Oh crap, here we go. What do you think of Javon's piece of crap Miata? So, look, look, so looks bad. Like look, so bad. Look at it. God. Why are your How friends? Why are your friends that way? I don't know. Oh my God. What do you got? Duralast Gold. Wait, do you got both front and rears? Or are we only doing the fronts? This is front and rear. Have you checked? Yes. How many pads are in there? Four. Four. Look! 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 Look at this! Somebody come look at this! Look at this! Somebody come and look at this! Look at this! There's no way. How, bruh? What Wait. is up with oh. your friend? Oh why is he built oh, like that, Miguel? Only. Shoot. Oh my god, Javon. Oh my god. All right, anyways, like, I swear. You didn't make You sure. can't make this up. You cannot make this up. Yeah, that one was my bad. There's no way. All right, on that note, let's go ahead and get the oil in this thing, get this thing dropped, and get your Miata in here. Poor Miata, having an owner like him. What do you have to say for yourself? Why are you like that? You only bought front? I didn't check that. I'm not gonna lie. What, what are you doing? Pulling off these balls. I saw that he got back there, damn. Oh, okay. Now that we got the GTR oil change done, we gotta check the oil. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn it on, we're gonna let it run for a second, and then we're gonna bring this fool's Miata in here and get those half brakes done. Good we job. Can, we can take the GTR and go get some more. Good job, Javon. Good job. All right, um, let's start it. Actually, I don't let's, think the rear ones actually need to be done anyway. So. You don't, how do you know that? I don't know. What logic did you use? It's only the fronts that are giving me issues. All right, let's get the GTR started and check this oil. Heard it. this baby cost three 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 thousand six hundred dollars you said 80k damn so first things first bro chachos we need to get this miata lifted up and in the air so we could do only half of the brakes now javon you didn't go and touch the the no. pad material right you didn't uh put your greasy dirty hands here i've not touched them at all actually I ain't good. Different you should have also probably purchased some rotors um, because broke. that what? Well, then you shouldn't own a car, Javon. You shouldn't own a car. And this should be a lesson for many of you out there. If you can't afford to maintain your car, don't buy it. I see a lot of you guys buying some really expensive high-end vehicles, and then when it's time to maintenance them, you can't afford to maintenance them. Then you shouldn't have bought them to begin with. That's why I bought the cheapest. Or just rack up a bunch of credit and rack up a bunch of debt, right? Charge up those cards. Don't do that. I had smart financial advice. You do that. No, Actually, don't do not do that. I didn't tell you to do that. If you do that, you do that at your own Gordon. will. Yeah, pay off your credit cards on time. Come on, where's your, uh, where's, where's the, the key for your, your lock nuts over there? You're the tool guy. So you don't have the- No, I don't have the key. Oh, amazing. 
Amazing. What, what else is he not going to have? What else, what else does he need from us, Miguel? Love what else? Yeah, because somebody over torqued these. Not that one. Wasn't me. I've never touched the loose. Yeah, we have. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we have. Two of yours were completely loose, and the other was over torqued. So that means whoever touched this guy's car before, if it wasn't him, y'all should not be touching cars. Whoever touched Javon's car before, shame on you. Shame, shame on you, bro, Chacho. Javon just said that we might need to do ramps. Okay, okay. Race ramps, by the way. Shout out, shout out to race ramps. These are the best freaking things ever, by the way. Love them, right, Miguel? Yep. Love our race ramps. Shout out to them. But on that note, Javon said we might need to do ramps to get this jack. That one's longer. Under his Miata. Every, and lift it. Every one that we've had to do, every time we lift it, we'd had to put wooden blocks under my wheels because we couldn't get to the jack points. You can't, you can't make this stuff up, people. This, you can't make this stuff up. Uh, You're doing good. Uh, thanks. That's really good. Oh. Oh, come on, get yourself. Come on, get yourself. Yeah. Oh. 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 Yeah. Oh, she's gotta eat it out. My wheels are officially off. Never been off before. They've never been off? Nope. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, they are kind of nasty. Yeah. They look like they don't belong on this Miata. They don't. The, those are German wheels. I don't know why they're on this car. Alright, let's go ahead and take these uh, pads off here. Let's do it. Look at that power tool. Come on, flex. Turn red. Turn turn into Harrison Ford. Or who's the guy that plays Harrison Ford? Alright, where's Harrison my Ford. where's my automatic Milwaukee? That's a good question, that's fine. Oh jeez. There it goes. Wow. That thing is on there. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Wow. That thing is cruddy. Yeah. All right, let's hold this thing out of the way here. Miguel, why is it so hot in Florida? Like, That's why? a good question. We should just move to somewhere colder. So we're driven. Oh, Tennessee. I love Georgia. Tennessee, go to the mountains. Ooh, Georgia's I like great. Tennessee, but I like Georgia. I'm a Georgia fan. Georgia is so nice. So we can get um, the breakfast. Oh, uh, breakfast day. club every day. For those of you who live in Georgia, if you have not been to the Atlanta Breakfast Club, you must try it out. The food is amazing it's so food baby so food also you can roller skate which is an amazing hobby all right javon bring me the box of brake pads nice. mm. yes. look at that that's called brake pads that haven't been changed since the 1990s what do you think about that like i've been asking things? you for at least a month or two to why asking me? Why don't you just do it? Because I don't have a jack. So why don't you invest in a jack instead of taking girls out all the time? I don't take any girls out. I don't know what world you're living in. Oh, look at that. That is nasty. Wow. Yeah, we need to give this thing a nice good clean before we go ahead and uh, do this. Bring me the uh, oil pan. Not breathe in any of this crap. Can you rub it all over your face? Don't do that. For those of you who don't know, brake parts cleaner destroys everything, including marriages. Anyways, don't get this on anything other than the brake parts. Very, very toxic. Oh my God. All right, and now, the other side. And then you just put the pad in the same way you took it out. By putting it in. Yes. And we are in there. Perfect. Now, let's just get some grease on this son of a gun. Good to go. So all I'm doing is greasing this contact patch right here. You might need to compress it some. Now, teach you a trick. 
now that we have it completely compressed, take this off. And this, slide her back on. Slide her right, right back on. All right, what's the torque spectrum on? 26. 26 what? Newton meters. I'll look it up. That's what the video told me. What video? You watched a YouTube video? Hell yeah. Who watches YouTube videos to learn how to work on cars? All your viewers. Did he answer that? He did. That was a rhetorical question. He, yeah, he did. He actually he answered that. Yeah. Oh my god. It's okay, he's learning. Don't now I need my wrong. torque wrench. Uh does 26 new meters sound better or does 64 foot sound better? Whatever the actual spec is sounds better. Well oh, that's for Porsche. I probably don't want to do that. Now for the slider bolts. You're going to be torquing these bad boys down to a whopping 23 to 28 foot pounds. Mucho importante. Let's get it. Let's get her done. Damn, and I had to hand tighten it already to torque spec. Look at that. Let's go ahead and do the other side real quick. Then according to spec, the lug nuts are 80 foot pounds. Okay, I love the way your car moves. And that's it, folks. Hands are so dirty from all the hard work we did today. All right, sir. Go and pump your brakes. Pump them until they're nice and stiff. Oh my God. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going until they're super stiff. Now keep pumping. Are they stiff? They're stiff, yeah. Perfect. Okay, stop pumping. That's good. All right. All right, you jabronis. What do you think about that job? I think it came out good. I think it came out pretty good. It's pretty until good. I drive the car and I don't make it out of the driveway. Well, if you do, it is at your own risk. Now, hopefully you all have found this video useful or entertaining. And if you have, do us a big favor and click that like button. Really helps out our channel. By the way, for those who are interested in some of the sim racing, or I should say sim drifting stuff, we have some pretty cool stuff that's gonna be coming real soon. So you're gonna wanna stay tuned in for that. On that note, if you have not yet subscribed to the YouTube channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button and the notification bell. This so you can stay up to date on all of our build series content. With that being said, make sure to put good energy out in the world and don't forget to pay it forward. We'll check y'all out later. Bye now. Goodbye.